This program is brought to you by Emory University. What led us to this research is the idea that stem cells might be helpful in reparative or protective kinds of treatments of patients with uh, neurodegenerative diseases. And by neurodegenerative diseases, I mean things like Lou Gehrig's disease, or ALS, which is the disease I work on. This company, NeuralSTEM, came to us, myself and Dr. Bullis, uh, to see whether we would be interested in trying this in patients uh, with ALS, to see whether it's safe to inject stem cells into the spinal cord. And Dr. Bullis, who's really a pioneer in uh, delivering therapeutics to the spinal cord, um, was the perfect person to do it. And uh, we have plenty of ALS patients here at Emory. And so we decided to go ahead and give it a try. There's a drug called Riliatech, or which is the trade name for Riliazole. That's a drug that uh, prevents neurons from getting too excited. Uh, and that there's uh, one school of thought that says that the motor neurons that are dying are, are dying because they're overexcited and that leads to a toxic effect. So yes, there's a drug out there, but the drug really provides uh, a matter of a couple of extra months in, uh, in what we call trach-free survival, or tracheostomy-free survival. So it keeps people breathing longer on their own, um, but not much longer. Uh, and then there's a variety of supportive measures that can be taken, but there's really nothing that keeps motor neurons alive in any sustained way, um, or that, that can bring back the lost function. Well, the, the initial steps of this were, was demonstrating that this particular type of, of stem cell uh, which is sp fetal spinal cord derived neuroprogenitors had the ability to keep motor neurons alive in the animal model of the disease which is made by inserting the, the A gene that is known to cause the disease in humans into rats and mice and then they develop this syndrome that looks very much like ALS. So in those animals that were transplanted with these cells there was a substantial improvement in function and, and motor neurons stayed alive despite the mutation. So that got people very uh, excited. Um, it led, that enthusiasm led to the, the resources necessary to pursue a trial. And my laboratory spent several years uh, working with the company to demonstrate the safety of the cells in large animals, namely pigs, um, and also allowed us to perfect the surgical technique and optimize the device necessary to do the surgery. Um, so uh, in 2010, we initiated this trial and we had already operated on hundreds of pigs uh, to demonstrate that we had the ability to do this safely and accurately. And over the last, really since that time, we have operated on 12 humans using the same techniques and shown that we can do this safely. This is called phase one, and so we need to move toward what's called a phase two or phase three trial. And those are the, those are the, um, the trials that are, that are not necessarily about safety, but about whether this might actually be effective in, in trying to change the course of disease. The problem with this kind of thing is it's going to be difficult to design a placebo-controlled trial when you're doing a major invasive surgical procedure. Um, and that's a question we've been grappling with already, even though we haven't reached that stage, on how to design a trial that could show efficacy. Well, that's, that's a complicated question. Um, the, we know that the, there's enormous potential for stem cells to treat diseases. Stem cell therapies already exist for um, disorders of the immune system and uh, cancer for recapitulating the, the immune system in the form of bone marrow stem cell transplants. The use of stem cells to treat solid organ disease is a little bit farther in the future. Our effort and others uh, is trying to bring that into the present, but we're not there yet. Um, I think right now 
when most people hear about stem cell therapies, they think about us using these very versatile, powerful cells to rebuild organ systems. And that's not what we're doing in this trial. What we're doing is we're trying to use the property of these cells um, that allows them to protect existing cells. So. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.